Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another FIFA video today. We're going to be doing a squad builder for you guys. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been getting a lot of messages, especially on Instagram. I always read through my DMs, so if you guys want to talk to me, get in contact with me, ask me anything. Links always in the description down below. But a lot of people have asked me, what's my squad? What am I playing with currently? So that's what we're going to do today. Drop a like if you guys want to see some more videos like this. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get into the squad builder. So we're going to start into 4-2-3-1. In the goalkeeper spot, we're going to go for someone untradeable. I don't really have many options, but I'm going to go for player the Mondavi De Gea. Now I have Red Neuer in there. No way to link him, so he's just kind sitting in my club. So we start off with De Gea. 127 games played with him already. He has the saves with feet trait, which I really like. He's decent, nothing special, but sometimes he does pull out some clutch saves. Now in the left max spot, I actually have a couple options that I could go for. And this position has really been between these two for the last like two months or so. So I could go for Red Hernandez. I could go for Kieran Tierney. I decided to go for Red Teo Hernandez. Now I use this Kieran Tierney for 53 games. I actually really liked him. And when you take a look at this on the left hand side, they're actually very similar cards. If anything, Tierney's probably a little bit better because he has defensive stats that are better and passing stats which are better but he is slower i think because of the 96 pace on theo i prefer him a little bit more 214 games played with him now let's finish off the defense right away as you guys see here i have a lot of special cards here in my club so we're gonna go for ruben diaz we're gonna go for veron and we're gonna go for hakimi now i have this trent and i actually did play with him quite a bit 94 games five goals 33 assists i have klaus in here as well but unfortunately after i got this klaus played a couple games with him i packed him with your hakimi unfortunately so i don't really get to use this card but this card while well, i used it it was pretty good and by the way when i used that trent it wasn't at right back it was at right center mid ruben diaz isn't on full chem i think he's on eight chemistry there's just really no way to get him full chem unless i buy cancelo which i just can't afford all right before we do continue into the video i wanted to say thank you so much to dowlings for sending me this chair i've been using it for probably probably two, three weeks now. And I can honestly say this is probably my favorite chair I've ever had. I've been through probably four or five. I used to not really like gaming chairs. I've been sent one. I think I was sent one about two years ago as well. And compared to that one, this one is just different. The stitching on the leather is beautiful as the lumbar support and the neck support as well. And if you want, you can also put your feet up, which for me sitting at this setup for hours on end until who knows what time it is very important to me. And I say this from the bottom of my heart, man. I used to not use gaming chairs because they were bad for my back. But after this one, I can gladly say I can sit on this for hours on end and be super, super comfy. So once again, thank you to Dallas for reaching out to me and sending me this chair. I'm happy to have a product that I love in my setup genuinely and that you guys will proudly see me using for all my videos from now on. I think if you are looking for a gaming chair that you really want to get a good, a really good bang for your buck for, this is probably one of the comfiest ones you can get out there. And it gives you the aesthetic racing game gaming look. If you guys want to check them out, their link will be in the description down below. This opportunity wouldn't have happened without you guys watching so thank you guys thank you to downlinks let's continue with the video now with the left center mid spot there's really one guy to only go for i am going for golden golo Kanza. i bought him for 147 i think now he's like around 60 or 70k 259 games played with a tradable card he's just been in my club for so long he's a staple in the team there's really no replacing him in my opinion at the right cdm spot is going to go killing and bopping my untradable killing and bopping 91 rated five star skills four star week for 393 games played with him 225 and 160 for him as well a lot of the stats have been kind of messed up because obviously when you play with them on i think it's max chemistry it doesn't count the goals and the assist towards the stats and i personally play him with a finisher chem style because i think that's the best boost for him now the rest of this team is kind of interesting right now the center attacking midfield spot we're gonna go for a foot here we're gonna go for a betty pele four star four star left footed medium medium work rates not the best return for him probably because of the times i use him it's either as a sub or i sub him off at halftime his stats are actually pretty freaking good shooting does lack a little bit and in my opinion he's an okay card nothing insane but he does kind of help with the links now with the right camp spot this is a card that i just bought i haven't even used him haven't played with him once but i've played against him quite a bit to know that he's actually cracked and mateo ganduzi 176,000 coins is what i paid for him i think on playstation he's much more expensive but every time i play against him he is just so annoying in the midfield and then at the striker spot who else can we have then the player of the month ben yetter 11 games played with him 20 goals six assists with a hunter camp style he is so much fun to play with man I completed him for like, I think 20 or 30,000 coins. Had a lot of fodder in the cut of red cast deals from the previous video and a couple more untradeables. So I decided to get Ben Yedder because why not? And the final player in the team at the left camp spot is going to be Chaloba. 76 games with him already. Playing with an engine camp style as well. Mainly because he does play in the center mid spot, not in the CDM spot. So I'd rather have him be a little bit better on the ball and distributing the ball rather than being like a defensive player. So this is how the team does look like, right? But I do have a small problem. Now, of course, to get the left hand side on cam, I could just do this. Then I can put any league on midfielder at right cam that can play box to box and it works so this kakaret card i'm 
pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. I tried him for a couple games in Division 2 and Champs Qualifiers, and even though his stats do look good, he feels like he's going to be great on the ball. That's what he looks like. He just didn't really have much influence on the game at right center mid. So after like four to six games playing with him, I sold him for 170, and then that's when I bought this Ganduzi. Now another option, so since I don't want to use this Kakarot card, I would love to go for this signature signings, Renato Sanchez. He's about right under 400,000 coins. I think at the moment I have around 300,000 coins, so I'm probably like one week away from getting him. This is what my ideal team would probably look like. You probably will think I'm insane for what I'm about to say, but essentially my big debate is either playing with this starting lineup with Chaloba and Ganduzi for this weekend at both at both center mid spots, or play with Gold Renato Sanchez, who I sub on almost every single game because in my opinion, he's still that guy. He's still great in midfield as a sub. So I personally think I'm going to go for this squad. I think I prefer Renato over Chaloba just because he feels better on the ball as a box to box. So this is how the squad looks like. This is my full team on my bench. I have Zakaria Origi Zaha, who I absolutely love in this game. I have so many games played with him. He feels great on the ball. I have Salah, who I sub on at cam instead of Pele when I need someone that can actually shoot and is pacey. Damsguard is one of my favorite subs in this game. Every single game played with him right here, 51 games, 32 goals, 14 assists. All of those goal contributions are coming on as a sub. This card I think I got from my Future Stars team one party bag pack, I think it was or something. He is ridiculous. Probably my favorite sub in this entire game. I have flashback Benzema is here as well because he's my boy. And then I have Rooney, Lukaku, Trent, and again Coutinho just kind of chilling on the reserves. But that is the team. And this is how it does line up in game 4 1 2 1 2 with Ganduzi and Renato at center mid, Abedi Pele in the cam, and Mbappe and Ben Yedder at left and right striker. If you guys do want a custom tactics instructions video for my 4 1 2 1 2 formation, let me know and I will bring that out to you guys probably on Saturday. And that will probably come with some gameplay as well. However, that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you guys want me to bring these back? Let me know, man. I'll gladly, gladly put in the work and the time and the effort for you guys to enjoy these. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Dusty. And I'm out.